What's up bros? Today we're going to be talking about LEGO Hidden Side. And Hidden Side is ending soon, so let's give Hidden Side an F in the chat, please. Rest in peace. So Hidden Side is basically about these two main characters, which is, I think, Jack and Parker? Not entirely sure. But it's basically ghost hunting. Like they're hunting ghosts with their phone or something. And the ghosts look really cool. So, uh, first let's talk about the sets. So I think in total we've had about two waves of hidden side sets. I only have one hidden side minifigure which I got off of Bricks and Pieces, which is Ghost Jack. And Ghost Jack is pretty cool, but for the minifigures of hidden side are actually really good. You've got a lot of different versions of Jack. You've got him wearing a cap with his hair sticking out. You've got a bunch of hoodies with hood pieces, which are really good for casual minifigures and sig figs. So that's one good thing about Hidden Side. And as for the sets, we've got some really cool builds. For instance, my favorite is the... There's this... In Wave 2, there's this little car thing, which I think is a dune buggy, but I just love the build so much. So what are the pros of Hidden Side? So, so far, we've got legit sets, good price, some awesome minifigures, and now let's talk about the cons of Hidden Side. So, the cons of Hidden Side. Let's start with number one. The first con of Hidden Side, the whole idea of Hidden Side. So... Before you unsubscribe, hear me out. This is my own opinion. You can have a different opinion. I respect your opinion, but you should respect my opinion as well. Because uh, Ash and Flash got a lot of hate over his Hidden Side video. I have no idea why, because for some reason on the internet, people can't have their own opinion. It's kind of retarded if you ask me. So for the cons of Hidden Side, first the whole aspect of Hidden Side. Like... Hidden Side is basically a knockoff of Ghostbusters. And every theme, every LEGO theme has its own thing, like every original LEGO theme. For instance, Ninjago. You might be saying, bruh, Ninjago's just some random ninjas wearing colorful outfits. It's not just that. What made Ninjago popular? The gimmicks. And what are the gimmicks? Elemental powers. And... The best of all, Spinjitzu. But now they've made like a bunch of different versions of Spinjitzu, like Air Jitsu, Spinjitzu Burst. Whoa, what if there was an Air Jitsu Burst? That would be that would be really cool. And so Ninjago's got elemental powers and Spinjitzu. And what does Chima have? Chima didn't really have much. The only thing that was different was it was humanoid animals. So there wasn't really a gimmick, I think. So I guess that's why Chima landed so quickly. And for Nexo Knights, the gimmick was Nexo Powers. And I got a lot of Nexo Powers. The Nexo Powers thing was really awesome in my opinion. F in the chat for Nexo Knights, bros. So Hidden Side is basically a knockoff of Ghostbusters because it's some people hunting ghosts. And what, it's, what is the gimmick of Hidden Side? Ninjago's got Spinjitzu and Elemental Powers, Nexo Knights is Nexo Powers and those special gimmicky shields, but what does Hidden Side have? Well, the gimmick for Hidden Side is you're using phones to find ghosts, but that's basically copying Pokemon Go, because Pokemon Go was basically just you pull out your phone and you find Pokemon, and you pretend that you're in the Pokemon anime, and you just find Pokemon. Like, for instance, Pikachu, you just find him, you launch a Pokeball at him, and then you got him. Gotta catch them all. And for Hidden Side, it's basically also pulling out your phone, and you find a ghost, and I don't really know what you do. Do you capture the ghost, just like in Pokemon Go, or do you kill the ghost? I have no idea. But anyway, so Hidden Side is basically a knockoff combination of Pokemon Go and Ghostbusters. No offense, this is my opinion, bros. I still think Hidden Side is really cool. 
I'm not really sure if Hidden Side has $10 sets because, like, almost a lot of themes have $10 sets, which is the cheapest you can go for LEGO. I'm not, ta I'm not talking about, like, on sale price. I'm talking about, like, the normal price. The cheapest Hidden Side set is, like, 20 bucks. The cheapest Monkey Kid set is, like, 35 But I'll, I'll, do another, I'll, I'll do another video about Monkey Kid because Monkey Kid sets are ridiculously overpriced. But for Ninjago... We have three options for almost every wave of sets for every season, or Legacy, or Ninjago Legacy. But either it's going to be a Spinjitzu training set, which is 10 bucks and comes with two ninjas, or we're going to have the normal small sets, which is going to be 10 bucks and you get one ninja and one goon, one random villain from that season. or we're going to have option three, which is the most popular option of all damn time, which is the Spinjitzu gimmicks. Starting from 2011, we've had Spinjitzu spinners, we've got Airjitsu spinners, we've got Dragon Flyers, and now we've got Spinjitzu Burst. We've got a lot of Spinjitzu gimmick sets, which are all mostly 10 bucks, or a battle pack, which is 20 and comes with two spinners, but, you know. So tell me in the comments below what your thoughts are on the end of Hidden Side. I'm really sad to see it go. A really great theme. So, uh, ten likes and I'll make a video talking about Monkey Kid. So, yeah, have a great day. Subscribe. See ya, bros.